Hey guys, sorry I have not vlogged much today. I have been cleaning and organizing some things and also Zia had a huge mess in here, which is fine. Like by now you guys know what she likes to do. Her thing is, is she likes to get every single toy. It's like her comfort. Like she gets every single toy that she can. She wears a backpack in the front, a backpack in the back. That's her latest thing. And then she brings everything out here and she starts to put it in categories on the sofa. And then from the sofa, she moves it to my desk that I ended up putting underneath the television. So that way we could put our um, sound bar there and the, the Wi-Fi modem or whatever you want to call that. Because hubby had the sound bar on top of the TV over the mount. And it was just a pain in the butt, turning it on, trying to figure out what button to push when you can't see it. So the desk used to be in their closet. You guys know that. Then I had it over here and that was just a hot mess. And then I ended up putting it over there. The drawers that are all in the desk have a lot of my vinyls in there, which is fine because the girls have now, well, Zoe's never been the type that gets into everything. It's been Zia. You guys already know that. But um, <clears throat> she hasn't been doing that lately. She just does get into my Cricut stuff, which is my Cricut maker. Like, she loves to just get everything. Like, she's so sneaky. But anyway, um, so then to keep it, like, she moves the all the little toys after she lines them up everywhere and puts them in categories. Then she'll play around with them, and then she moves everything to that desk. Again, in categories, all lined up, like, and it's just an ongoing thing throughout the day. <laughs> so that I'm trying to grow some herbs. <laughs> and he ended up picking this up for me, which are plant markers, because remember how I couldn't remember which one, how I put them in. So these are amazing because these are by Hearth and Hand plant markers and it's parsley basil cilantro mint and rosemary and this is what they look like you just stick them into your little um, planter pots and you'll always know what it is not like you can't like get a little leaf and smell it like you'll know what it is um, but for right now that one of them's not growing I know one of them's basil and I think one of them's mint but I don't know which one the first one is I have to go back in my vlogs because I had put the it's in my vlogs so I need to mark them with these he also about a week ago I'm gonna say he picked this up and I totally forgot to show you guys and I have not done it to my Keurig um, I have the filters that go in there that you change every like two to three months and I've already changed it but this is called the Keurig three month brewer care kit it says clean and care for your keurig three month supply removes mineral buildup filters water better tasting beverages it comes with a descaling solution four rinse pods and two water filters so when i do this i'll like vlog it for you guys all right, so hubby just got home from work. I'm going to marinate the steaks that he got yesterday. And these, quick and easy Ziploc bags. We got the girls some Pringles. He got me this Crackers Essential um, kit. Hopefully it'll make my life easy to cut these because um, I'm trying to make soulless mm, kids mask and then tie dye them. So yeah, he got that, this, and Pringles and that's it. I'm going to make burgers tonight because we're fatty.
everybody, it is Tuesday. I had seen this hack on TikTok where you can put all your brushes in a pillowcase and throw them in the washer. So we're gonna see how loud it is and if they come out clean together. All right, so obviously this sponge did not come out clean, but let's see how these look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe I threw all my brushes in the washer. I'll just say TikTok made me do it. Definitely need to be washed again. But, you guys, look how clean these look. And I know that you're not supposed to get this part of your brush wet because it will and it'll come unglued but for the most part you guys yeah the sponges definitely need to get washed again but they came out okay not too bad but you guys also I wouldn't recommend you putting it in a pillowcase and tying it because the knot that I made on it was really hard to get, to get off. I was almost about to cut the darn pillowcase because I couldn't get the knot open because, or untied because it was wet and I had done it really tight. But look at all these brushes, you guys. They came out clean. Minus, you know, like the foundation brush. But at least I don't have to wash all of these by hand. I'm just going to pull out all the ones that I use for like foundation and creams and stuff and just rewash those again by hand. But it's not a lot of brushes. So I put it on delicate. But yeah, for the most part, like I'm just going to lay them flat to dry and... I think they came out good. And as I told you guys before, this is what Zia likes to do with all of her little toys. She puts them all in categories. Are you looking at my kitty? Do you stand your door right now? Can you the two doors? I could. So she put like a wall, some wet, and then this is what she's got going on at the table. Which way do we go? 